Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, I'm just on my way now. I'm walking um, to a meadow and I'm going to do like a really girly set up there um, that was originally meant to be like a gender reveal slash baby shower. Um, so, I'm just going to... That obviously had to be postponed but I thought I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, so, I'm like in the middle of the woods. I've just had to like park up, unload my van, um, draw, find somewhere where it's actually legal to park and then now I'm just walking back but I'm absolutely freezing. I've picked some wildflowers because <laughs> um, I couldn't resist and they're just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I will show you where I am about to do my setup. So this is the little pathway down which is really cute but I'm just trying to keep going and keep like making setups even though you know events aren't allowed right now so it's just a bit of a sorry my, I'm not really bad at holding this camera while I'm walking and um, so George should be taking charge of all the stuff because um, there's a lot of it so he's literally gonna look like he's moved into the middle of a meadow so we're just approaching it now I'm going for a real pink theme so I think I might just put you on a time lapse as I'm setting it up and then when I get home I'll kind of <laughs> you can see it. here he is <laughs> I'm just it's really windy so I'm really hoping that um, it can stay but it's gorgeous you know me, you know me by now. I love a good meadow. But whew, it's windy. But yeah, let's go and put you on a time lapse and show you what I've got.
Welcome back. So, um, the last thing you would have seen is probably the time lapse of me doing a setup in the meadow. Um, it was really simple and I just loved it. I thought it was really pretty and really chic. Um, I took it back to basics when doing this setup because I just thought sometimes when I've got kind of like a lot of things going on, I can overcomplicate it and then the design doesn't come out how I wanted it so I thought I'm just going to strip it right back and I'm just going to make it really simple really pretty and I loved how it turned out but now I'm back it's the next day and this room needs to be decluttered now tell me right has anybody else watched the home edit on Netflix it's just made me want to organize my whole life <laughs> so I'm going to start in here I know that I have mentioned before that um we haven't actually completed this room yet um in fact nowhere near oh excuse me so um so sorry about that <laughs> I need to remember to put my phone on so I need to remember to put my phone on silent when I'm filming, but sorry. So, um, I said before that we're nowhere near uh, f finishing this room, basically. It needs plastering, it needs new lighting, it literally needs everything doing to it. But at the same time, I'm so grateful to have this space because without this space, I, I literally could not work. So I'm really grateful to have it. So I think it deserves to be tidied <laughs> so over this section so over here I've got all of the balloons that I have had from a different setup that I didn't end up using um, but I'm not going to pop them because it's just such a shame to waste them so I will be doing a setup with those I like to kind of recycle my balloons so if I have leftover balloons after a setup or if I say if a client wants me to come and take down their setup I will ask them of course if they want me to take the balloons back rather than pop them so when I bring the balloons back I always store them because they have such a good lifespan on them and it's such a shame to pop them so I like to use them again um, so I've got all of those I've got like pinks and corals and things like that so I might actually do a little setup with them the weather's really lovely so I might actually just go out and do like a mini setup video with those um, I've also got my flowers that are hideously just over there that looks bloody terrible um, so I'm going to need to sort that out I'm waiting to get some like big floristry buckets um, for proper storage because at the moment they're all just in like, standing up in cardboard boxes which just isn't working um, because my collection has grown so much um, they are literally my babies my flowers are I just love them because they are premium quality so I make sure that I buy all my flowers from a really trusted wholesalers um, and I've also ventured into the real flower side of things as well I'm no florist but it is something that I would love to learn and get into to kind of incorporate into my designs so that's one of my goals for next year and um, maybe I could do like a video Maybe I'll do it in December what my goals are for next year because I've got a lot of them um, and I've got so many ideas. I might actually do like a like a separate video on that because I'm so excited for that. Um, I've just got, literally last night, how many times when I say literally, I was just sat there thinking to myself, right, I could do this, I could do this. I've been re researching um, about building my brand and making it a brand rather than like oh that's Catherine she does balloons like I don't want to be that girl there's nothing wrong with being that girl but I want to be oh she owns a really 
big company that supplies the best of the best of everything so that is what my goal is um, and that is what I will achieve I just need to kind of organize and prioritize what's going to happen and um, first because there's a few big investments that I want to make I'm sorry I've gone completely off topic here but I just need to get it off my chest um because it's just been rambling in my mind and you know and you're just going crazy with excitement so there's a lot of things that I want to add to my services. One being real flowers um, and real flower pieces. But I also have an idea um, of a whole new perspective on event themes. Um, I've not seen this anywhere in the UK or America. It might have been, but I just haven't seen it. I've searched, but I haven't personally seen anybody have anything like what I'm imagining so next year is definitely going to be a big year um, if I can manage to get that rolled out and added to my services and just kind of dip my toe in the water and see how effective it is um, so yeah I'm really excited about that because for a couple of days I've been a bit like do you know in I can't really explain when you just lose all that like confidence in yourself and like just feel like a creator's block and um, like I did a setup and I just looked at it and I thought what a bloody mess like this is not me I'm not thinking straight I just didn't have my head my head was in the game but my head was in that many parts of the game that I couldn't concentrate on the one thing that I was actually meant to be doing um which is really it's just one of those things um but today I've woke up and my mind is really clear um from last night of me thinking like this is what I want to do this is what I want to achieve like I've said in my previous videos I quite like to write down everything that I want to do because that just that's just a way that works for me and it's definitely brought my mind back down and allowed me to kind of like take one step forward so in saying that this room is one of those things I mean it's not like a major priority for me as long as it's like organized and I've got enough space in here to work that's absolutely fine by me so that's what I will be doing today so flowers and everything are over there however when I do get my um, floristry buckets we've got um, like um, it's like a shed next to this space and but it's not just like your bog standard garden shed <laughs> um, it's like all insulated and flooring so pretty much what we've done in here has happened in there um with its own like electricity and stuff like that so it was going to be like do you know those really cool like lady sheds um like the gut like at the bottom of your garden when you've got like a really like how do you say it? like a chic look so like a big like chair like a wicker chair a rug some books and some shelves that's what we wanted it to be originally about a year and a half ago but instead it's where I just make sure all my frames and backdrops and everything like that are all stored and safe so they're in there and my flowers will go along with them and at the moment my balloons I've got like four three or four sets of just like Argos drawers at the moment I do want so this will this will be gone I've just got this hung up because I want it to be safe and fresh still I don't want no creases to go on it so um behind this wall if you can see it's just like plasterboards um so when we get this plastered i want like big thick wooden shelves and like jars like rustic jars to put all my colors in size order and everything like that just so it's really aesthetically pleasing um but for now my drawers are fine and you know they work i don't need no fancy stuff like studio room right now that's like the least of my priorities so the first thing is first I don't actually know what to do with the balloons that I'm choosing to recycle because <laughs> they're just literally there just taking up a load of space so give me two seconds I'm going to rearrange you so you can kind of see I'm going to take all my drawers out and then organize right so it's worse than we thought <laughs> I've got boxes up here, um, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 boxes of balloons, 12 boxes that aren't even out of the box yet to put, be put in the drawers, so, uh, <laughs> do you remember you start a job like when you was younger? 
and like you're in your room and you think right today I'm going to be a new woman going to clean my room out and then you gut it all and then you're like why the hell did I start this that's what I'm feeling right now about this job so I'm going to start off with 16 inch balloons so as you can see I've literally stored them in this like just draw so like this drawer is full of 16 inch I've got about four drawers full of 11 inch um, I've got a drawer full of 5 inch and then so on and so on so at the moment I just kind of shove them in take them out when I need them or like say if like I've got an order coming through and I need to see what stock I've already got I will have a look through and then kind of just dash them back into the um, drawer which isn't great but it's just it's just me really so what I want to try and do is kind of like colour coordinate them so I'm just going to fold them down so I've got blue here so I might just do like neutrals on what this balloon is driving me insane I could just feel it rubbing them there so um, I'm going to kind of try like dark colours light colours and neutral colours that's how I'm going to try and like sort them out so I might put you on a bit of a time lapse just while I do this because obviously there's not much room to say other than the fact that I'm just folding some balloons so I never really buy the assortments but I have brought um, a standard assortment because I had like a rainbow theme before um, so I don't really know how to put these because let's just put them to one side so right I'm going to put you on a time lapse and I'm going to kind of like just go through these drawers see what I've got make sure that they're kind of colour coordinated and also take like a mental note of what I need to order so this is a question that I get asked quite a lot actually and um, which I can just touch upon now so I've got a lot of messages asking if I buy my balloons in bulk and have them like stored ready for when an order comes in or if I order the balloons as a like confirmed order comes through if that makes any sense so what I've actually been doing is um I've kind of just the stock that I've got is kind of what I've just accumulated over time I've not purposely like gone onto the wholesalers websites and just kind of like thought right I'm just going to stock up on loads of balloons this is just what I've accumulated from orders so I do the way that I work and the way that I find it most cost effective when an order comes through and um, once we've had the really like detailed um, quotes on exactly what they want I kind of know how many balloons that they're going to need so what I'll do is I'll just order the balloons in the colours and the sizes but I always end up with some left over because you can either you probably know like you can either um, buy them in like 25 pieces 50 pieces 100 pieces but I always go for a hundred um, if it's especially if it's a big order because I like to make mine like really like fluffy <laughs> so um, yeah I always end up with extras which just tend to get like dashed in the drawers afterwards so this is how I've kind of accumulated my stock and um, I don't know I think when this room is like finally done I think I will eventually invest in the popular colour so that's the one thing that I wish that I do and um, that I'll probably end up changing so the really popular colours such as like white black um or the nude palette they're like gold dust like they're so hard to get hold of i've been trying to get a hold of um qualitex blush for weeks like literally weeks and i just cannot find them anywhere so next time i see them i will be like i won't be like stockpiling them because obviously everybody needs them but i might just order like one more packet than i need just so i've got that kind of like backup so i'm going to do that next um, but yeah sorry for rambling time lapse
oh it's just a quickie right so um i'm just going through my so i've done my five inch and i've done my 16 inch but now i'm on to an 11 inch and i'm just going through the different brands i didn't know whether to like organize them through like qualitex and Patex, um and then like my other brands that i've got um, but instead I'm just going to kind of like do a draw for each kind of colour. So a draw for like bright colours, dark colours, neutral colours. But I've just come across these. Um, Bell Bell. You know that I literally struggle to say that. So, um, And they are in shade vanilla. And I found that these are a really good um, kind of like how do I say this like when I want a blue to be kind of toned right down but not pastel I want it to be kind of like nude these are a really really good um let me see if I can show you so let's say for example I wanted like a nude so I've got like a mocha I'll put my mocha on here just so I can show you quickly because I completely forgot about them because although I really really like this brand and they're brilliant outside the one thing I've got to say about them is that they how do I say this like Qualitex for example it's they are like fantastic for not leaving that mark here so as you can see on here there's no like pointy mark um, which Sempertex most of, like here so I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if it will focus. So can you kind of see that mark there? So Sempertex, although they're like my fave, um, they are like suckers for leaving those type of marks, whereas Qualitex isn't. Um, but Bell Bell um, can be pretty annoying when it comes to stuff like that. But this shade is really nice. Let me just... My pump is like propping up the camera, um, so I'm just gonna quickly put. So if you didn't want, like, say for example you didn't want like a pastel colour, this is the um, mocha inside vanilla, and I just think that that's a really, really lovely tone. Don't know if you, but as you can see, it does leave that mark. I've even tried like when you're inflating them, I push it down so it like spreads from the top. Um, but that doesn't really seem to work with these balloons either. But when they're actually in a display and you're looking at them like that, gorgeous. So, I just thought I'd just quickly let you in on that little top tip because although they're a bit of a nightmare, these are a really good shade. But anyway, enough of me rambling because I really want to get this done. So yeah, I will see you in a second. bloody god that was 
boring. <laughs> no, um, I've sorted it all out now. My back is killing me and I've got cramp. Um, but it's done and it looks a lot neater. I've done kind of like um, 11 inch. I'm not going to show you because it's still like I've still got all this little corner to kind of organise as well which I'm going to do now but I've got like bright colours pastels 11 inch in one box I've got like a neutral box of 11 inch mix of 16 inch mix of 24 30 36 inch and mix of 5 inch and then I've got my chromes and my foils in another one then um, and I can just see my red flashing light on here and um, so it looks like my battery's about to die but I am going to organise this corner and I just found like a massive dead spider and I can't stand spiders. They are like my biggest phobia. Make me feel physically sick. Like I can't even go over there at the moment. That's why I'm not showing you that bit um, because I'm just not going to... I don't want to go over there right now. <laughs> um, but I'm going to sort out all these balloons, stack them all up. I might even put them in the shed um, just so they're out of the way. And then sort my flowers out. So I'll take some photos or videos of what my flowers and things look like afterwards. And get rid of all the rubbish and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this little declutter and... Um, don't really know what to call it, organising with me, then thank you so much for watching and make sure that you are subscribed and that you give it a thumbs up because that really helps me. So thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.